Warren Buffett. Even if you're not big in the finance game, you know the name. The CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, also known as the Oracle of Maha, has a personal net worth at the time of this video of over $100 billion. His track record of handpicking growing companies that went on to explode has made him arguably the greatest investor of the 20th century and a source of inspiration to millions of budding young and seasoned investors alike. And in this video, I'm going to give you an insight into how you can get Buffett rich. But first, click the bell icon and subscribe to the channel to stay notified of the latest videos from Kalkine. So how does Warren Buffett select the right stocks to invest in in order to make piles of money? And is he a value or a growth investor? Well, for starters, he's not afraid to pass on an opportunity if the price is not right. One of the most important questions Buffett asks himself is, is the business fairly undervalued? If a business has all the signs of excellent growth, a reasonably strong past and present, but isn't valued accordingly, that's not a warning sign. But a sign for an opportunity. It's a strategy known as value investing. Definition-wise, value investing is the process of buying stocks or securities that are quoting at a lower price than what they're actually worth. In other words, value investing helps an investor identify undervalued securities that are trading below their intrinsic value. Value investing was popularized in the investment world by Benjamin Graham and David Dodd way back in the 1920s. And this is where Warren Buffett learned the basics of what would make him not only a talented trader, but also a whole lot of money. Now it might seem easy to simply find and buy undervalued securities to become the next Warren Buffett, but value investing sadly is not that easy. The knowledge and skills required to identify the true value of a business is not a mere game of reading Excel spreadsheets. Finding the intrinsic value of a share is the most difficult part, which is determined by doing a fundamental analysis of the company. Once the true or intrinsic value has been determined, the strategy then capitalizes on an assumption that sooner or later, the market would price that security at its intrinsic value. Hence, finishing the gap between the current value and the true value. This valuation gap is the potential profit that a value investor aims for. Therefore, value investors are constantly on a hunt for securities that in their opinion are trading below their intrinsic value. They also take the opportunity of temporary market reactions, which are often caused by a good or a bad event such as the recent COVID-19 pandemic. And during that period, they buy stocks at quite a bargain. The assumption behind buying stocks at these knee-jerk reactions is that there's no change in the fundamentals of the underlying business, and it's just a temporary noise that has created such a value gap. So that's essentially how Buffett does it. But having the nuance to accurately identify those value stocks, that's the part that you'll have to hone. And if you do, maybe your name will be as revered in financial circles as Buffett's. If you enjoyed the information contained in this video, then please make sure to share, comment and subscribe. And of course, click the bell icon to be notified of the latest videos from Kalkine. For more information, including how to start identifying those value stocks, head across to the website, kalkinemedia.com. I'm James Preston for Kalkine Media.